Hey everybody, welcome back. As promised, this is the uh, part two breeding plan video uh, for the 2017 season. A um, few changes already since the first one. Uh, Apollo originally had Electra, which was a genetic stripe. Uh, moved her down to Aries, my clown, um, just for the simple fact that uh, Apollo didn't seem too interested in her. So that's kind of what we did there. So we'll go ahead and get the uh, update started. And uh, the first one, of course, we'll start with um, Loki, the leopard. He's got three girls this year, a uh, pinstripe, a butter, and an orange dream. So, of course, we're just going to try and get some doubles all around there. Uh, leopard pinstripe, uh, leopard butter, and then, of course, leopard orange dream. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you some of the snakes here. All right, here's my leopard boy with our pinstripe female. They have locked up once. Uh, as you can tell right now, neither one of them look too interested in doing a whole lot. So hopefully they'll uh, lock up once or twice more during the season. Uh, give us better chances of uh, you know, getting a clutch out of her. So here's these two. And here's the butter girl. They've, uh, they've locked up twice. Uh, so nothing too major, a little bit better uh, success than with the pinstripes so far. She's a lot bigger too, so hopefully we get a nice big viable clutch from her. Um, she seems like she's taken along pretty well so far. She's just staring at us, checking us out. And here's the orange dream girl. Uh, as you can tell, she's right in the middle of the shed with her nice blue covered eyes there. And they've hooked up as well, um, I think once or twice already. So hopefully we get a good viable clutch from them. Same thing, we're just trying for the two gene combo, Leopard Orange Dream with her. But, uh, which will be good for future breeding plans. So, alright, we'll move on to another set of snakes here and take it from there. All right, just a quick disclaimer too. I'll put pictures up for a lot of these breedings that we're doing, of what we want to create. We're going to go with some of these projects. Of course, I don't own the snakes yet, so and the pictures won't belong to me. They're just going to be from random websites wherever I can get them. Um, but on to the next one is the lavender albino sutar. He's got three girls. He's locked up once with each of them. Um, Demeter, which is our pastel pinstripe, Bubbles, which is pastel spider, and Nemphar champagne. And of course, the object here is to get hets um, for future breeding. And I'll put some of the pictures up of what we'll get, you know, here in a few years down the road. Uh, if we do get lucky and hit the uh, double genes um, with the hets. So we'll go ahead and start showing some of those animals. And this is Demeter here. Um, she's huge. She's uh, She weighs in like 3,900 grams. So hopefully she'll... Uh, Produce really big clutch for us this year. Of course, she's hooked up with the lavender albino. Uh, so, hope we get a, a big clutch. That'll help increase the odds of us hitting the uh, the two gene heads. So, all right, we'll go on to the next girl before she decides to come and eat the camera. And this is the pastel spider. Um, she's right around probably about 23, 2400 grams. Um, hopefully she'll also lay us a really good clutch of heads. She's a real good girl, real calm, so hopefully that'll pass on to any babies that she, uh, that she gives us this next season. And, uh, we'll go ahead and move on. I'll show you guys the male real quick. And this is the boy, the lavender albino. Real gorgeous looking boy. Love the lavenders and the, the yellow oranges that kind of kind of contrast with it. Too bad the camera really doesn't show the oranges. It's really, really orange where the yellows are. It's kind of weird how the camera doesn't really show that. But he's been a busy boy. His first season to breed, so so far he's doing okay. Especially for a first timer. And this is my champagne girl, probably one of the meanest snakes that I own. Uh, he's hooked up with her once so far, and uh, hopefully she'll go. She gave me a really good clutch last year. Uh, I believe she had either seven or nine eggs. It was a really good clutch. So, hoping she'll do the same for us this year. 
and she's just staring at us like she always does. Yeah, she's not much of a runner. She uh, she more or less stands her ground. So always got to she'll be she she'll be really fun to uh, take the eggs off of this year. Okay, our next group is a clown group. Uh, our male Aries is the clown, and as you can see, he's uh, pretty busy this year. He's got five girls to take care of. Um, these are all long-term projects. We're of course going for some clown pastels, and then we even have a few double recessive projects, um, ultimately shooting for clown ghosts and clown genetic stripes. But let's take a look at our snakes now. And here's the male clown, Aries. Uh, nice, good-looking boy there. As I said, he's got five females to take care of, and he's been doing a really good job of it. Locks up almost every time we put him in with one. Um, he looks like he's going into shed right now, but he's still really handsome. Okay, and here's the Harlequin Pastel female. Um, Aries has locked up with her three times, so hoping to get some uh, good babies out of this clutch. She's a decent size here. This is her first year breeding, though. Uh, of course, our ultimate goal is clown pastels, but of course, uh, it'll take a bit before we re reach that. Okay, and this is Hella, our ghost girl. Um, of course, this is a double recessive project, so take quite a while. Um, they've locked up three times, so it's looking good. She's also um, a nice weight and everything, uh, but this is her first year breeding. And this is Ziva, our citrus pastel female. Um, she and Aries have hooked up three times so far. As you can see, she's a pretty good size. She's kicking out about 3,800, 3,900 grams, so almost 4,000. Um, so her first year breeding, but with her size, we're hoping for good results. Of course, the ultimate goal it'll, will be clown citrus pastels. Um, once again, it'll be a while before we see anything from it. Okay, and this. And this is Ellie, our pastel female. Um, she and Aries have locked up three times. She's a pretty decent size, but not huge. Uh, not like the uh, citrus pastel you just saw. But we're still hoping that the uh, odds will be in our favor and she'll take this year. Okay, and this is the final female. This is Electra, our genetic stripe. Uh, she's in shed right now, so not looking her best. She's a very pretty girl. Uh, we had her with our banana cinnamon male originally, and they just wouldn't take. So we put her with our clown male, and they locked up that first night. Mm. So we're hoping uh, they'll lock up once or twice more th during this season, um, increase our odds. But this is a, another double recessive um, project, so an, a, another long-term project. And hopefully the odds will be in our favor. All right, next up is our candies. Um, I bought two 100% hats um, from a reputable breeder, so I'm pretty confident in their genes. Uh, we'll find out this year. Um, but hopefully they go. Um, they're both pretty young, but she is of weight. So I'm hoping we produce a visual candy this year. Um, also, Atos, which is my GHI. I got him with Bela, which is a Het Red Exantic, and Freya, which is our Inchi. Um, the plans here for Bela um, would like to get, of course, uh, some more Het Reds to breed back uh, to make the super form Red Exantic. Uh, and also getting GHI in there would just be a, you know, a bonus. And then with Freya, we want to do the, uh, you know, Inchi's an awesome gene in itself. And then adding GHI to it, you know, just makes it better. So why not um, have the girl decide to, you know, pair up with him. All right, we'll go on and check out the animals. These are 100% head candies. Uh, we picked them up from a well-known breeder, so we're pretty confident 
um, with their genetics. Now we're ultimately hoping to get a visual candy, but they are both just barely uh, the right weight and age for breeding. We thought we'd give them a try and they have hooked up once. So hopefully the odds are with us and uh, we'll see a result pretty soon. Okay, this is Atos, our GHI. He's in shed right now, so not looking his best, but he's a good looking boy. Uh, he's been pretty busy this year with his two females, um, locked up with each of them three times, I think. And let's take a look at them. This is Bela, our het red exanthic. Uh, she and uh, our GHI have locked up three times. Through her, we're hoping to get a red exanthic. Um, and it'll just be a bonus if it has GHI in it. This is Freya, our inchy female. Uh, she and our GHI have locked up three times. Um, we're hoping to hit the double. It'll be great for future breeding projects. Um, she's just at uh, breeding weight, so hopefully we hit the odds. All right, we'll send the video on one of the little hatchlings here we produced this season. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Uh, we appreciate it. And there'll be plenty of uh, you know videos in the future, so uh, definitely subscribe uh, if you want to see some more. Thanks.